Afraid not. You have my conviction. You don't know me, but I've found you. It wasn't easy, seeing how you've never met. But her words were persuasive. Once I tracked you down, I went back to her, but she was gone. All I found in the debris was an address, which I've enclosed. I'm going to make sure she's all right. If there's any part of you that cares for your daughter, you'll come too. Signed, R. Price, Private Investigator. Right, well, this is it. The Isle Tide Hotel. How much do I owe you? No, 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 forget it. Look, besides, the old tile takes care of anybody getting there. I've always wondered about that place. I reckon a receptionist would probably take any old piece of paper as an invite. <laughs> I just never had the balls to try. Still, just getting close. I, I don't know, it, it means something. Are you, um, hey. Uh, never mind. Just, uh... Excuse me.
Welcome back to the Isle Tide Hotel. If only for our final night. I trust you had a pleasant term, Miss Ray. Um. My apologies. I mistook you for somebody else. How may I help you? I trust you had a pleasant turn. Of course. May I inquire which symbol can be found on the inside of the invitation? You must have seen it, no doubt. No, I didn't see it. Before my sight was kindly taken from me, I had argued that the symbol was too large, given the subtlety of its message. And seeing that our invitations are printed on card rather than paper, I would kindly ask you to leave. Going in, or I take it the receptionist wasn't very friendly. <laughs> Something about him. Mm. Otherwise, you'd be in there, right? <laughs> Unless you're thinking it over. I like mean, I'm Christopher. What kind of hotel is this? <clears throat> I wouldn't, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't call it a hotel. It's, it's closed most of the time. It only opens every three years for three nights. They call it the tide. I've heard what, rumors. And I want to be the guy who finds out if they're true. I've never been that kind of guy. <laughs> or um, any kind worth mentioning. But uh, we could team up. <clears throat> I have an invite. I could get you in. Yeah, let's go in together. You, you, you would do that? You, you'd come in with me? Sure. Well, I... They're great. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Christopher, sweetie. For a moment there, you gave me a fright. I thought we couldn't have you. Yeah, my, my friend here, he convinced me. Hi. 
I'm Josh Malone. We don't usually allow guests, but as you convinced my Christopher, I won't put you through the test. But we need you to get fitted. Why don't you go get ready, sweetie? I'll see you in there. Oh. <laughs> You'll be following me, speedily. Arms up, sweetie, let me measure you. Well, do you wish to participate or not? We need to start the exhibition, and if you don't wish to... What kind of exhibition is this? Only the world's greatest, sweetie. There's nothing more exquisite than the human form. Human form is exquisite. The world and her wife wish to change it, fill it, fake it. Pity. It is only when we're different we realize what we had. I create all the experiences at our tide. A clear vision, varied, so they find their true core. But lower my call sheet. I just want to find my chameleon. Somebody who can wear them all to perfection. I'll get one ready for you. Go wait in the bar and I'll summon you through shortly. Off with you, speedily. Gold. Uh, excuse me? See? Another verse that doesn't notice them. Have you never looked up during the swell celebration? Um. <clears throat> Which is why the balloon should be gold this term. But red is traditional. You said that already. But red is customary. Or oh, customary to have, always have someone else take the credit. We need to try something new. What do you think, dear? No one notices. Perhaps you should try the gold. There's a girl and here. Perhaps she I'm no longer needed. Some old relic. Oh, don't go. I wouldn't know how to do this without you. I'm stuck for choice. I'm swayed towards the white lace, but I wore that last term and nothing changed. What didn't change? They failed again. To nominate you. Who wore it best? It sounds 
exciting. Well, it's not for everybody. Any rules? You choose a mask, and then on the swell you wear something that suits. Who wore it best wins. And you want to be nominated? Nobody, if you're not at my end. You seem to know a lot about what goes on here. You should be careful when choosing. How people see you is everything. And here, you can be anybody. A chance to become those you envy and for a tide, forget yourself entirely. People call me Dee. That's not my real name, you understand. It's just that, well, hardly matters when all keys go into a bowl. Am I right? I prefer to know. Learned that the hard way. I'm Josh. Beauty isn't the ambition. It's the tool. You may not be swayed by it, but many are. I didn't mean to. No faster way to see your name and lights. I came here to be somebody beautiful, somebody new. I never focused on finding the core like everybody else, and now it seems that I've lost my own. It's always hard when you lose something. A pageant, let's say, but passion is doing whatever it takes to get it back. Am I right? I do anything. Then maybe you're the one I've been looking for. It would be terrible for me to ask someone to nominate me for the pageant. But if they did, you would help them in return? Who knows how grateful I'd be. I've tried to warn him. They can't be changed. Or cheated. The receptionist reminds us all with a single look. Except that man at the bar, it seems. I didn't stick around to find out why this time. Let's go find her. She'll be looking for me. My wife.
purge by means of fulfillment. Where is room 14? Join me for the changing of the tide. Seeking person with an open mind to peel back the layers and find the core. Room 7, 8 p.m. Rosie. To all who think the core is sex, all genders welcome. Room 18. For lovers of literacy and language, I, Jordan Hemlock, am starting a petition to change the terminology of the etiquettes Ergo, come find me and sign. Five o'clock, get the sound of the turn. You realize Dr. Aniston could be anybody? I wonder if he's here. I've got no closer to finding the core this tide. Waste of a suit. You'll move then, Paul. You're not Paul. I'll still be Paul. Forgive about me. I'll be others, some other poor bastard's problem soon.
You're here to see me, no doubt? Yes. I'm Jordan Hemlock. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've heard. They chatter in their boxes. You see, I've spent more time alone this term and began to ponder the word term. Horrid sound. Ergo, I've created a petition for the grand elect to change the terminology. What do you think of the word span? So how was your span? Ah. Uh. I knew I could count on you. You remind me of myself before I slip this on. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words can be spoken, as the saying is. Right. And these uh, grand elect, they choose who come here, do they? Invitation only. Oh, they ramble on about their inclusiveness, but all I can see in these etiquettes are rules to keep out those they deem unsavory. But should we call for a hearing at the measuring in front of all the verse, ego, they'd have to consider it without the benefit of a bow. Uh, they don't have to listen to me. There are rules in place to stop that, too. Rules can be broken. Oh, if only. Unless, like the democracy of America, you scratch my back, and then you can demand a favor later. Right. I mean... And I would guarantee it. Anything you want. Good afternoon, sweetie. Tonight's measuring is underway. So if you could adorn your robes, masks, and follow me speedily, the Grand Elect... Oh, wait. Sorry, I didn't know there was <laughs> You think it's easy? Well, well, it's not. I have been trying for the last two hours. Two hours! Trying to put that lipstick on and it... keeps smudging. They, um... They tell you to change, but... They don't prepare you. They don't tell you how to feel. I can't go a whole term with that. It's not about that, George. It's, it's about what's inside, George. It's about the core, Georgie.
don't know me, but I found you. That's what I wrote in the letter. I'm Price. <laughs> You're Price? What did you expect? Oh, jeez. Bet myself a bottle of Bushmills you wouldn't show. Heard you were never around. And people don't change. So figured it an easy bet. So as you do, you have to watch out for. So why are you here? I'm here for Eleanor. What, out of some newfound fatherhood? Or looking to make Yeah, a... I came, didn't I? That makes no difference. Well, why did you write the letter? In case something happens to me, at least someone would know where she is. So have you found her? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Save you the trouble, Christ. Hey, you don't know what happened. I know she could barely crawl when you walked out. Missed every step she ever took. But I guess he taught her one valuable lesson. You can't rely on anyone. Well, if you want to find Eleanor, you'll have to change. The guests are getting together downstairs, dressed in these. I'm gonna get one, go down there and find out who has her. And if you don't show, I won't be surprised. Doubt she would either. Boring. London base of the commutes and nightmare. And you can settle down next time. Do you sweat much? <laughs> <laughs> Got newfound respect, mind you. Didn't get promoted once. Bloody bunch of tossers. I told you so. And you said I was whining. I hope you learned something. Yeah. It's never subtle. It's obvious where they're looking. Right here. <laughs> Bloody off, Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. What do you think of my hair? Um, I love the colour, but people say it's too much. Mm, I think they're bloody boring. Hmm. Maybe I should try that. Boring could be fun to do. Brown. There you are. I've been looking for you. The pageant's this way. Come. They're taking nominations Sweeties. Now. Come. Come. Sweeties. Last chance to enter somebody into this year's Who Wore It Best pageant. Any final nominees? You said you'd do anything. Nominate me and I'll repay the favour. We have a deal. Am I right? Um. <clears throat> Fabulous, Ma. Congratulations, sweetie. Tell me, how can I help? You? Name? My name? Well, yes, sweetie. I need a name. I thought you could use his. It must be the participants. How else will we know? An initial, then. I need your name, sweetie. That's not an etiquette. No, it's a rule. Which are still quite important. The ceremony shall begin soon, and if you can't provide a name... I don't remember. I'll write D for now. 
but we will need a full name. And if I can't remember? You can't very well win without a name to place on the plaque, sweetie. Perhaps there's somebody who can help you? Now, everybody, speedily, take your seats. The grand elect approach. You don't know me, but I found you. It's not you, my love. Stop shaking like a teenager's wrist. Guessing these aren't your average guests. There's a lot of them. Not sure on their choice of road, though. What's up with you? I'm just nervous. We'll find her. That's what I'm nervous about. Not sure how to explain to her where I've been all these years. Grapes are not harvested from thorn trees, nor a fig scattered from thistles, for they yield no fruit. Peel comes before the fruit to protect it, but that shall not be so on the swell. Just as the great ocean has one taste, the taste of salt, so too shall this tide, the taste of life. To reach the fruit, we must first cut away the peel. Simul yestis epicator. Good afternoon, both. Nice to see our body. Hope you all had a lovely time. If you're new or would like a reminding, the nine chapter etiquettes can be found in your room. Or on the notice board in the lobby. It is my pleasure to introduce the grand elect. We are who we say we are. Praise be to Dr. Aniston, founder of the Tide and seeker of the core. Praise. 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 First we have taken the measure of each other. Now comes the fitting. Bring forth the new verse. Christopher? Give us your name, and we will change it. Give us your suit, and we shall swap it. In the giving and the changing, only the core will remain. And in the core, purpose. Changed my mind. Uh, sorry. I, I, I don't, I don't want to do this. I, I was, um, I was talked into it. Well, no, 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 I, no, 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 please, no, 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 no.
before we embark, does anybody wish to shed guilt for the term? Last term, I practiced as the priest. I found it hard. I confess, I... I turned to drink. And I, uh... I got a tattoo. Okay. Etiquette 7 has been broken. To impart manners, your choice of suits for the coming term shall be halved. Forgive me. You are already forgiven. I committed a crime on the previous term, which verse 37 was arrested for. Etiquette 4 has been broken. To impart manners, your suit shall be chosen for you. You are already forgiven. I too wish to shed. The whispers you have heard of a young girl are true. Chosen by Dr. Aniston herself for this deviation of etiquettes, she will be presented to all at tonight's swell celebrations. A hearing for all. Until such time, we shall proceed from the measure to the fitting. What happened to a rose by any other name? Am I right? Huh? They were laughing at me. Oh. That's why they never nominate me. Put a pretty little bullet in all of them. Please help me. Help me find my name so I can win. Show them all. I'll give you anything. Name it. Eleanor Malone. Eleanor? Hmm. Well, that's a pretty name. Do you know of her? It won't be easy. First, you'll need to find Dr. Liston, my psychiatrist. She never believed me, of course, refused to even look. But our last session, her mood changed. Buttons got up even more uh, Dee, do you know of Eleanor? Mm, that's when I knew she'd done it. She'd found the woman who stole my name. <laughs> what? I know how it sounds, but it's true. Something to do with hands, that's, that's all I can remember. She refuses to tell me, of course. Break into her room. No one will expect you, and I don't have time before the pageant. Find my name. And you'll help me find Eleanor. Remember, Dr. Liston, and once you're done, come and find me, room number 12, and hurry. Pageant starts soon. Hey, wait! What room is Dr. Liston in?
regression. She exhibits no signs of typical behaviours or bouts of clarity. Moreover, I began searching for any outside record of Melissa. There's none. No employment records, social media accounts, or even tax payments. It's like she appeared out of nowhere. I trust Dr. Aniston, but something doesn't feel right here. D. Wouldn't say she's made any improvement. It's like she doesn't want to. Moreover, she's been acting suspiciously this well. Less self-centered. I believe it's promoted by the upcoming pageant. But I don't know what she's up to. This led to my research. It didn't take me long to discover Dee's real name. I knew that she arrived in 1969, so I obtained permission to access the records room, and now I'm not so sure. It could be valuable for her recovery, but this kind of repression wouldn't come without some repercussions, perhaps even violent in nature. I'll think it over for now. Dr. Aniston. for mistaking this as some gender identification struggle. Not to say such struggles don't exist here. Just look at George. Instead, it's my observation that Jordan's case runs far deeper than that. A very misguided attempt at a Shakespearean tragedy. I believe bereavement counselling is the next action step.
Dean. You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. You could have caught me. Doing what? Changing. I have to change for the pageant. Have you found my name yet? She wasn't there. But I heard her tapes. I know where to find it. It's in the records room. Well, then you'll need a key. Here. Well, this is for the records room? Well, yes. It's for all the staff rooms. The doorman gave it to me. Bless him. He's sweet, but he's not the brightest, am I right? <laughs> Why do you need it? We don't have long before the pageant starts. You should hurry. Yeah, wait. Aren't you coming? I told you I have to change. But th this is who you are. Isn't that more important than how people see you or some pageant? Do you want to tell them they're back or not? Then meet me outside room 12. And if you're quick, you might catch me changing. Let's make sure we digitize these sign-in records. That's what I need. Digitize. Okay. What's that?
Hey. A quick announcement, ladies, gentlemen, and those Deep. between. It seems D once again finds herself in the pageant. Though will be disqualified if she can't present her full name for the judges. Good luck, 69! I just don't like it. Yeah, right. I look, I'm taller now. You like that? No, I don't like it. Why? Tell me why you don't like it. Because I just changed my damn mind, Darius. That's why. Now get your ass upstairs and put on the other suit. Well, first of all, check your tone. And second of all, I ain't changing. I'm feeling fresh. You just better stop your crying or I'll give you something to cry about. Okay. What are you going to do about it? I'll leave your ass here the whole term. Oh, yeah, I wish you would. Yeah. What do you think? Bit of all right. I saw it early and I thought, yes. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to taking this for a spin. Yeah. Do you fancy a peek? Yeah, go on. No? All right, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Now too nicely. Yes, yes. I'm feeling much better. 
but I'm not playing any more chess this turn. You'll have to wait until the next swell. But as reigning champion, I'm happy to answer questions you may have. What can you tell me about the tide? It comes in and goes out. What can you tell me about Dr. Aniston? What can I say? I've been with her since the beginning. Amazing woman. She invented it, you know. The machine. Just a shame about her husband. Got enough in the bank to move. Take this place somewhere hotter. But she'll never leave this place, so we stay. Why? It's where she lost him. Best not say any more. What is the core? If I knew, I wouldn't be here. None of us would, I should guess. As different as each suit is, you soon realize that we all have the same problems, the same tastes, the same routines. Romantic, what she's trying to find. The meaning of it all. But who says there's a simple answer? What happened to Dr. Liston? All I heard is that whoever broke into Liston's office and took her also arranged the test. Word is, whoever they were, they must have been a raging psychopath. We'd know more if Liston was around, of course. The verse reckon, whoever it was, took the test. She panicked, and they snatched her. Thank you. You're here to ask, no doubt. Answers, no. Failed to get enough signatures. A go? They'll refuse to change the wording. Jordan. I know you're supposed to start afresh, but this is important. I'll give it another crack next term. Span, I mean. Just hope she can last. Gather round, sweeties. Gather speedily. Now, you know the rules. No asking who they're wearing.
I think we have a winner. Please give me a moment to confer. Let's give this term's nominees a round of applause. to know. Am I right? What have you done with her? I thought you understood. You said you'd do anything, remember? Now I see you're just like everybody else. Dee? I'm about to announce the winner, and I need a name. Otherwise you can't be considered. Give him the name. I want my daughter back. Give him the name and I'll let you have her. Anyway you want. Just wanted to say you look incredible in her. Never seen this suit before. I can show you a little bit more. Hey, if you I want. need a name. I would hurry. I'm starting to like the way she feels hey, in me. How do I know? Do you go Tell him or I keep her. Speedily. Tell him. Dahlia. Hmm. Okay, I've given you the name. Now give her back to me. I remember. And I'm happy to announce the winner of this year's Who Wore It Best pageant. And the winner is Dahlia. I just sat there, seeing them, still feeling them somehow. Dahlia, they've called your name. All those hands. All those hands. All those hands. I couldn't forgive. I could forget. You've won. Isn't this what you wanted? I don't care. This deal's off. No! You can't do this to she her. She did it to me. Bring me the person from room six. Bring her to me, and I'll give her back to you. Dahlia, please make your way to the stage. Well, hello there. Have we met? I, uh, I don't think so. Well, we have now. Paul. Paul Fullhart. It's an odd name, I know, but, you know, friends say that it suits. And, uh, you are? Josh. Well, hello there, Josh. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, are you, um... Are you staying in room six? I certainly am. All alone, I'm afraid, but uh, there are plenty of people and fun to be had here. <laughs> <laughs> would you, um, would you mind coming with me, please? You know, my mother used to say, if someone knocks on your door, you better ask, who is it for? Is it a angel? That would be nice. Or is it the devil? Better think twice. As we've just met, I'm gonna ask you, do I wanna come with you, Josh?
Yes, you do. <laughs> well, okie dokie. I mean, is it somewhere fun? <laughs> we'll find out. Ooh, <laughs> tantalizing excitement. I mean, who could resist that? Lead the way, sir, lead the way. I'm quivering with excitement. <laughs> nice room you have here. You okay there, pretty thing? Can I help you? Jesus! Hey! Ah! hey! Go, go, go! Move! Tell me what's don't going don't on. Shoot. Wait, no, don't shoot! Wait, don't shoot! Move! Not until you tell me what's going on. He used me. Helena? The real me. Dahlia. You know her name? He knows more than that. He stole my name. Dahlia, he couldn't have it's stolen. It's true. But we have been through this many times ago. See? And I admitted it at the time. I confessed, I apologized, and still, you continue to... I remember all those hands touching me, all those men grabbing me. I never wanted that, I never asked for that, touching every pop. Why, you assaulted her? It was me. I was her. Saw you. Her. Me. You used to. You let them have me. No, no, you were never meant to see anything. And you knew what would happen when you joined the tide. Your body was mine. And you ruined it. I just came here to be something beautiful. You were, I was, and you just didn't know what you had. Oh. Eleanor, wait, Dahlia, wait. I'm sorry. I made the wrong choice. It was a mistake. And we all do it. And aren't you doing that now to her, using this girl? There's a difference. You stole who I was on the inside. You stole me. I lost her, who I was. I just wanted to be admired. I wanted that too. I was a priest before the touch. You know what that's like? How lonely that is. No one to hold you. And I just... I wanted to explore. Explore. And what better way to feel noticed, to feel loved, than to be the pageant queen herself. Wait. You won a pageant? Back in 69. Do you remember? <laughs> you arrived with a bang and everybody wanted you. And I got you. And I repented for what I did. I made the wrong choice. But shooting me will not change that. That's what I need to decide. Do not make the same mistake that I did. Dahlia died because of you! I am a different man. I have changed. And do we not, do we not all deserve a second chance? Oh, step away. Do not be like me. Step, step away. If you let her take me, you will lose yourself just like her. You said you'd do anything to win. All you have to do is take a step. I made a choice, too. I left my daughter when she was just a little girl. I didn't consider how that decision would affect her. I have to do this for my daughter.
Thank you. 